Good day and welcome back to the channel everybody. This is our entire life. We do videos of firewood, tree jobs, and a bit of outdoor exploring. In today's video though, we are running our old Range Road firewood processor. It is back up and running. It has probably been almost, almost a year now that we haven't even touched this machine. Just kind of shows to you uh, our progress in our business this year has actually grown quite a bit. And uh, we didn't pretty much use any of this big heavy equipment at all. It was a truck and a chainsaw and an axe this year. And uh, we actually grew quite a bit. Sales have been slow. We did raise up our prices. So we did kind of make a few adjustments and it worked out for our benefit. But uh, we finally got our processor up and running here. About uh, It's probably been about two weeks now. We've actually ran through about two of these uh, calf shelters worth of logs. Re slowly restocking here. It's been uh, quite busy with winter sales still. A lot of people I noticed so this year have been buying half uh, cords instead of full cords. Hopefully that's going to bring in more sales in January because last year, January and February, pretty much just died right out. Uh, we're hoping now this, uh, this year people are buying half their order right now and then maybe half of it in January. Keep the money kind of flowing at a steady space there because uh, the slowdown when it does go to complete dead does take a bit of a hit on the business wise. But uh, lately it's pretty much been uh, splitting and uh, selling right after. We're slowly getting a little bit of stockpile of split wood all stacked up uh, for next year. But uh, like I said, it's been really busy. Uh, pretty much as soon as the wood split, it is sold. But we're going to be getting a few, but a cord done here tonight. Just the stuff uh, right behind me here. We can get that all split up. We got from our other night, about a half cord there. We got to get uh, still stacked up. We sold, uh, but I think it was about a half cord today. Kind of a slower day for sales. But uh, we're going to get some wood here split up. And uh, show you guys our unit. For our people that were uh, asking about our my oil leak there. That uh, I didn't know where the oil went. I actually found out pretty quick as soon as I got the machine up and running and warmed up and the fluids flowing. We found out where the leak came came through. I'm going to turn you guys around and I'll show you guys all. Got you guys down here. Got our leak just at the very end of our reservoir. We're going to have to get it welded up. It is too cold right now. I tried to throw on a little bit of a JB weld. And then I tried to do, even do a little spray with uh, some Flex Seal. All those things did not work. It's still leaking pretty bad. So one of these days I'm going to have to uh, get this wheeled over to uh, my brother's there, the, our fab guy, and uh, get that little bit of weld tacked up there. I'm thinking it was from... Uh, we got our splitting uh, wedge that goes into the hole right there. And sometimes it gets pretty frozen in there and stuck with a bunch of grime. So we have to kind of pound it out a little bit. I'm wondering if the bottom hit that a little bit just too much and just gave out that little bit because you can't even see where it's cracked. It's just so thin. Just enough though to uh, lose a little bit of oil. We have to top up the hydraulic oil almost on a daily basis when we use it. I've been catching some of the stuff when uh, we turn off our processor and uh, put it into another pail. We've been siphoning it out kind of cleaning out the oil from my need a little bit of dust particles that have been falling off the processor and uh, reusing that. But uh, going to have to definitely get that welded up. Also, our conveyor is pretty much right out of teeth. We're going to have to get this taken over and uh, get some new teeth put on her so she can push the wood. A lot of it gets built up and we have to use it, toss it off by hand. But uh, it's been working still hell of a lot better than the axe throwing around an axe all day a lot more easier on the body and a lot quicker but uh let's get to some splitting here
we're going to wrap that up for this evening. We've got uh, about a cord there done worth of wood. We pretty much uh, burned through all the logs except uh, I think about there's three there that we still got to get done. We got, I think, roughly about a split up just before uh, we started uh, splitting. I did finish up that uh, last row up there. So we're just, uh, we're going to be working on our third row building up right now. We should have enough for at least one and a half row coming up here. Well, uh, probably one for sure. This, this pile, this out, that came off the conveyor. This is probably going to be for tomorrow's order. And then everything that's just on those will stack up. But uh, process is running pretty good. We are leaking out quite a bit of fluid as you guys can just see her drip right now when she... When she warms up, she just kind of, she starts coming out pretty bad. But uh, these buckets of oil are about $60. And I think we've been putting in roughly about a liter, two liters uh, per day. So uh, it's a bit of a pain getting this all through. But uh, I just don't want to be traveling with this trailer just yet. Hauling it down the road to our mechanic guy so we can get that welded up. Uh, we do have a one bent axle on this thing and it we we have to go about uh, 30 to 40 kilometers down the road and uh, it's about a day day's process to get this thing uh to the shop in the back in here so we're gonna kind of uh go as much as we can throughout this winter time uh we're just gonna top it up and uh kind of go from there I'm trying to collect as much as it comes out right now like especially uh when we finish up processing up here and uh, all the sawdust kind of calms down we're going to put a little bucket underneath there catch as much as we can and uh we're just dumping into our one pail right here and like i said we're gonna filter that all out get out all, all the any a little bit of sawdust or grump and then probably uh give it a run down and see if it's good enough we might put that back into the procession for reservoir but we're going to get uh, our little mess here cleaned up, get our uh, splitting wedge taken out of our machine. One thing I do recommend if you guys do get one of these machines is take that uh, splitting wedge out when you're finished up here. It just makes life a lot easier for your next day because this thing gets uh, pretty stuck in that place. And sometimes even with your uh, lever to adjust how far you want it up, it uh, just gets too jammed up and it just gets stuck. So you have to have to get in there and start pounding it with a slide. As you guys can see some of the damage on the top here from us trying to get this thing out, which I think caused our little damage at the bottom. Cause I think this was just kind of slamming into right where the frame is there. A little unfortunate, but she still works. We're getting uh, work done with it. We'll get that fixed up in the future here. Hopefully uh, sooner than later. We're going to wrap that up for today's video, guys. Hope you guys all enjoyed that. We will text, talk to you guys again next week. Uh, possibly coming out with a couple shorts here. Going to give, fill, use a couple of those to fill in the week uh, videos. But we'll talk to you guys again later. Thanks for tuning into Arms Have Life. Bye, guys.